right, so base, here, here we have a little video of a steaming pot. And uh, obviously the, the thing to take a look at is the steam here. Uh, but the question is, we already have a picture of a steaming pot and there's only one thing that's, that's being uh, animated here and that is the steam. And that is very, very true. So why would we want to make a cinemagraph of this pot? Well, the reason we would would be, you know, if this was a an image that worked in whatever content we're developing, then we can present this image as a static image and not as a video. And that's what makes it a little bit different. So I'll go through here. Let me go through the motions. I'm going to create a cinemagraph. Um, and we'll have that picture and we'll have that for our project. How about that? Whoopsie daisy. Hold on. I did not pick a there. How about that as an image? We will save that. This is probably pushing the envelope a little bit as far as the kind of image you really want to be working with. But it's kind of a neat image to work with because you can do a lot of testing with this particular one. Um, number one, nothing else is really moving around in the image. So this is one where we can judge to see how big the files are, we can we can select a, a larger or a smaller section here for our video. And we may have something that, that works better for us for, for email and such. Uh, we don't want to have pictures that are too big when we're sending emails, do we? Because we're going to impact our deliverability. So here we are. I'm going to just take this section here, right? And so this, that's, that's probably what I'm going to be doing with this over time here with this particular image. And I will be sharing those results with you when I get them. So there we are. There's our image. It looks just like the original, except it's very, very short. We're going to export this. Uh, we're going to call this uh, Steamy Pot 10 because we're, okay, I'm, I'm still sticking with that. I'm going to be checking these results 10 versus 20 frames per second and then I'll show you that analysis uh, when we're all finished. I'm going to be looking at the overall size of the image. I'm going to see how that works in an email. I'm going to see how fast it loads on the page and do a number of things to analyze you know where we should be going with this as a gift. Do we want to stay with 10 or 20 or do we want to look at something else beyond that? All right then we'll do the 20. I am the world's worst typist. I know that. <laughs> All right. So I will save this and I'll be back with another image shortly.